Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of September the 6th to the 12th, 2021. We are still in the star sign of Virgo and will be for another three weeks or so. Um, so, but let's look at the overall energy first. Um, before we, go, we do anything, just remember, please subscribe, press the like button and um, please, please, please share. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit of a sore throat today. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. So, <laughs> we have the Shaman of Song and the Dancer of Inspiration. Now, what the guides say, basically, is this. This is the week where we all forge our own path. The more light-hearted you can be, the better things will actually work. Because you have the Shaman of Song, which means, you know, you either sing a somber song, or, you know, a sad song, sad songs they say, right? Or you make it, you know, a whistling tune. You know, whatever <laughs> floats your boat. The point the guys are making is your energy is really, really important this week. Now, we're having a, a new moon coming in on the 7th of September. And new moons, energetically speaking, are all about new beginnings. So as you get a booster energetically anyway this week, <clears throat> why not make it a happy song? Because the outgoing energy is the dancer of inspiration, which means if your energy is high enough and you're not feeling dragged down by by life if that makes sense <laughs> then this is a very good week for new inspiration to hit you and actually because you have a high energy get things off the ground or really create stuff um, is really really um, important and also very very possible this very week so it's actually quite a good overall energy for the week ahead <clears throat> and now we're looking at the first star sign which is like I said earlier, Virgo. Let's see what we got for Virgo. We have the Great Horned Owl and the Grey Fox. What the guides are saying to Virgos is twofold. Number one, <coughs> pay attention to what's been said around you, if that makes sense. It is really, really important that you pay attention to hmm, how things are being phrased around you and what sort of energies come your way audibly. Okay, the, the guides give me this this whole thing that, that um, is not a German phrase, it's, a, it's an English phrase, I suppose. Um, and you know it all very well, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, kind of thing. That kind of saying, because words have energy, energy travels, and if it is negative energy, low energy, or outright uh, nasty energy, you will be affected. So what the guides are saying to, to you this, this week is to pay attention to how people speak around you and also how you consume social media, um, you know, or, or watch TV or whatever, whatever it is. Make sure you're, you're looking um, at and only watching um, positive energy footage of anything, if that makes sense, right? <clears throat> and then you have the grey fox, which is basically... Um, the guides reminding you that you are an old soul and you have been through a lot of things and it is time now to let that go right because we have a new moon this week <clears throat> you're not defined by the past yes there might be things from the past that that hold you back that have left the trauma for want of a better word but remember the overall energy was to create your own tune uh, to your life so be positive about things really 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 make that positivity that you bring into your own life travel to right that was the energy for virgos going to the next star sign which is libra let's see what we got for librans okay <clears throat> we have the wolf and the owl so what the guides are saying to um to librans this week <coughs> excuse me what the guides are saying to, to Librans this week is look at your life 
assess where you are in the scheme of things and wherever you can take charge right if you feel like you know there's too many things um too many it's really weird i'm, I'm hearing this genesis song um there's too many men too many people making too many problems right that kind of song so what that really means is is pay attention to who is really running your life if that makes sense so who has an influence on you that may not always uh, be helpful so and assess it and then take charge and then we have another owl <clears throat> we had that with the <coughs> sorry with the star sign before that uh, which was Virgo and now we're in Libra and the message therefore is for you too to pay attention and also slightly different here um, as you take charge have a little bit of faith in yourself right don't just think like oh i can't do this kind of thing be positive right know that when you look at situations even if they're new to you if you put your mind to it you will be fine because the owl is drawing an auditory map to get the mouse in the undergrowth without being caught in the undergrowth herself so the idea is just Pay attention to where it is you want to go and what it is you want to do and you'll get there. I think what, I, what, what I'm hearing here is for Libra is um, to not let any low self-esteem things, even if that pain and that low self-esteem has been put there by other peoples and situations um, you, you've been through, forge your own past this week, let that all go. And just pay attention to what you can do with your life, right? That was Libra going to the next star sign for the week ahead. <clears throat> We're looking at the week of September the 6th to the 12th, 2021. And now we're in the star sign of Scorpio. Bloody hell. <coughs> Another owl. We have the barn owl and the ferret. Now, I have three decks here that I'm using today. <coughs> Um, so in total there should be 150, 160 cards or whatever here. And um, in three star signs we had three outs. So the imagery of the owl is very important um, for all the star signs, I suppose, because it's coming in quite, quite strongly. And you have the barn owl, Scorpios. And what that denotes is that when you decide what to do with your life, you will find the right people to populate that barn with, if that makes sense, right? So if you feel it's time to start anew um, and maybe you would lose some people, um, it probably is a good thing because at least you're not attracting the same type once you realize they have to they have to go or they can go um you know i've had my time with that energy um and then it might take a while before you manifest with the new energy therefore it takes a while before you uh, find your own tribe again but that's sort of what the guides are showing you this week don't be afraid of of um stepping on people's toes right if there are things that need to change you can change them because your outgoing energy is the ferret and the ferret's energy uh, is basically the meaning is basically that the ferret is very very intelligent it's incredibly intelligent so you are therefore very clever and you will get some places but the ferret doesn't have a great reputation <laughs> as a matter of fact most people um, that are not really ferret lover or rodents rodent lovers um, probably just um, remember what they have heard about the ferrets stench or smell or scent whatever you want to call it so what that really means in, in when you it's always a bit convoluted here what the guides are saying to you is pay no attention to how other people th think you are and remember some people don't want you to succeed they might actually wait for you to fail so that they feel better about themselves right but you are very intelligent and you can manage and remember the ferret isn't bothered by what anyone thinks of him if he had a middle finger, it would probably go up, <laughs> right? So 
remember that you're going to be you're going to do well you will be fine but pay attention to your surroundings and start assessing who you're with and make changes if you feel that needs to happen that was scorpio going in the next star into the next star sign which is sagittarius if you like my work by the way you can now support me financially um by just uh, you know buying me a coffee so to speak on buymeacoffee.com i leave the link in the description box box that all helps me you know because i'm, I'm always on the lookout for new um tripods and new microphones and all that kind of stuff um, to ultimately um, have you have a better experience while watching pretty much a monologue <laughs> if that makes sense um, <clears throat> so yeah please support my work awesome so we are now in Sagittarius and you have the hunter of death and the shaman of purification sounds <laughs> sounds harsh is not meant harsh at all you have the hunter of death which means you with the new moon coming in this week on the seventh <clears throat> something needs to end you need to let go of something that really hasn't worked for you and isn't working for you enough is enough if that makes sense that's what i've that's sort of what i'm getting <clears throat> and because you have the shaman of purification right after the hunter of death once you let things go you will then have the shaman of purification which means you let things go that haven't worked you will go into a this is the way i get it you will go into a bloody meltdown right um but sometimes these these meltdowns are super important because tears are sacred medicine so you know you you empty yourself out you kind of um you know let it all go and <clears throat> cry out the excess pain for want of a better word um, and then refocus on life so it's not <clears throat> heavy it's not negative it just feels it is important that you need that you realize that you know changes need to happen and only you can make them happen so if you are a person that has been trying for a long time to make a certain situation work it's not that you say like oh you know um i'm defeated here no you tried you gave it your all it just isn't working move on okay that was the energy for sagittarius going to the next star sign for the week ahead which is capricorn wow <laughs> capricorns easy message reach for the stars you have the hunter of mysteries which means pay attention a little bit to your spiritual side this week or more than just a little bit pay attention to to the spiritual core of yours because new ideas and new mysteries are heading your way really really important and because you have the shaman of star uh, of stars right after the hunter of mysteries you know whatever comes to you mm, brings you closer to your guides and to your ancestors so to speak <coughs> and so therefore the next chapter in your life is spiritually speaking a very very important one so make sure not to be um not to be governed by by worries and fear and all that kind of stuff just go with the flow you will be fine um and do what you came here to do right because you have the hunter of mysteries literally staring you in the face right that was capricorn going to the next star sign which is aquarius let's have a look what we got for aquarius <laughs> quite different <coughs> to your predecessor <coughs> which was capricorn in on aquarius you have the elk and the peregrine falcon so what the guides are saying to you is just relax a little right don't get hyped up by things this is the week for you to just step back a little if people want to be hmm, put a swear word in here if people want to be whatever right it's their choice it's their karma you can't change people it's also very, very the way i get this is also quite pointless at this point in time telling someone that they're way out of line because they want to be out of line 
you know, or they just don't give a hoot because they don't understand that they're even out of line. Bottom line is, whatever you are going through right now, this is the week to realize if I just step back a little, not my monkey, not my circus, that kind of stuff, right? You've got nothing on me. Sticks and stones, right? If that makes sense. Um, so let them talk. Just remove yourself energetically. Really, really important to remove yourself energetically because as an Aquarius, you are quite deep. So when people are loud towards you or, or, or simply um, unfair, it is very hard for you not to take that home and not to take that on. <coughs> and that's what the guides are saying to you. Right? You have, you have the, the elk with an element of unfairness. Unfairness, unfairness means protection. <coughs> if you just step back a little, right? the guides got this. So trust this. Please. And then you have the Peregrine Falcon, which means, and this is probably <coughs> probably more important in a way that um, when you step back to not being hit by other people's energy, you might already know that you don't really belong there, if that makes sense. And the Peregrine Falcon is saying to you, we are looking for new opportunities, we will find new opportunities and you will see new opportunities coming your way, but you need to want to see them, right? So allow yourself to realize, you know what, maybe someone else uh, will appreciate me. Right? Mm, a lot of you kind of thing, <laughs> right? And um, maybe it's time to make some changes and again, we have a new moon this week, so this is the week for changes to also um, really work, if that makes sense, right? So, so don't despair, Aquarius, because unfortunately, and generally speaking, with Aquarians, that, that is, I wouldn't call it despair, but um, when you are down, you, you, it takes you a long time to not feel down anymore. And um, that is energy you don't necessarily need to prolong. Okie dokie, that was Aquarius going to the next star sign, which is Pisces. Let's see what we got for the Pisceans. It's also my star sign, which I always quite like, obviously. <laughs> so, this is the week of September the 6th to the 12th, 2021. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe, and please, please, please share. If you like my work, you can now support me financially by basically donating a fiver or, you know, buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. The link to myself uh, is in the description box below. Would really, really appreciate this. Here is what we got for, um, what the guides got for Pisceans, which is also my star sign. And we have the seagull and the frog. Interesting. The seagull is basically the guy or the, or the animal guide that tells us, think things through. You know, TH is not so easy. Um, a friend of mine um, once taught me, Thursday thinker, think of things in thought form. <laughs> so I could learn um, to pronounce my th, THs a little better. Didn't quite work. Anyway, so we have the seagull. And that means, have a look at what you want to do. Think. <laughs> have a, pay attention to where you want to go and plan it and therefore manifest it better. That's the message for us Pisceans. And because we have the frog, which is an amphibian, the message for us is when we pay attention to where we want to go and maybe put a bit more emphasis behind it, right? And even if it means there will be slight changes, um, so maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to work somewhere publicly and one venue works and the other one is a bit sluggish, right? So you're still going through changes. No matter what's coming our way, Pisceans, we will just be fine, right? So, or you will just be fine, we will just be fine, because obviously I'm a Piscean, so I take that also um, on a personal level, just like you sh probably should, right? That's all we got for Pisceans. We now have um, a little bit of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo left. <laughs> Here we go. The next star sign on our list <clears throat> is Aries. Aries, you need to really have a break from things because you have the red wolf 
And the red wolf is one of those, um, it's also known as the Ethiopian wolf. It is one of those oftentimes um, emaciated um, red wolves that live in the desert where there isn't that many opportunities, if that makes sense. They also had to really find a very different way um, of getting to their food, if that makes sense. So what the guides are saying to you is while you are very capable of adapting, uh, to adapting to situations, you need a little bit of a breather, you need a bit of a break. Um, and then you have the bobcat, which means while you are removing yourself a little, or maybe more than a little, while you're removing yourself from situations this week, look for a vantage point from which to assess what your life is like and where changes need to happen. Okie dokie, that was Aries going to the next star sign, which is Taurus. Let's have a look what we got for Taurus. Wow. <clears throat> Three animal guides we get for Taurians. You have the frog, the mouse and the badger. Interesting. So, as I just mentioned, um, the, 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 the frog, I, I mentioned this in, in Pisces, Pisceans, the frog tells you that no matter what's happening in your life, there will be options for you and you will just be fine. The mouse is your animal guide that is in the middle. It is sort of flanked by the frog and the badger. Therefore, the one in the middle you pay the most attention to. And the mouse is one of the few rodents that is not scared of heights. <laughs> so, <laughs> the message short and sweet for Taurians is that no matter what's happening in your life, you will always find other options and you will also always be fine. But you also need to realize that you see the world exactly the way it is. So don't... Don't paint things in a better light when they're really not to be painted better than they actually are. Don't deceive yourself because you don't want to deal with shit, if that makes sense, right? Really, really important to call a spade a spade, which is something Taurians do very, very well. My feeling is that there is something that you know has been going on for quite some time, isn't quite working, and you sort of go like, well, I'm going with the flow here a little, I'm not super happy about it. And all the guides are saying is stop that immediately because while you're already affected by something that is not working, it is your job, right, as the bull, um, to, to make things known and to talk about stuff and, you know, bring about change that nobody else wants to bring about. Right? And then outgoing energy is the badger which means that um, you oftentimes do feel um, that people give you or assign the blame to you. And um, if it's not yours to take, then just don't take it. It is really that simple for Taurians. You need to realize this while you are very deep and therefore when people know how to push your buttons, you are very affected. What the guides are saying to you is it is still your choice to take on what people tell you to take on. And you are really asked this week, especially with the, the, the new moon coming in on the, on the 7th, to pay attention to things that aren't working and do something about it. Right? That was the energy for Taurians. <laughs> going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. Gemini. Not bad. You have the timber wolf and the mouse. What the guides are saying to you is you will do best this week when you don't have to go things alone. It's really, really important that you um, reach out to like-minded people. Be with your tribe, right? Don't feel too isolated this week. Um, and um, that's the main message for you is, is to reach out to people that you know love you um, and that you can trust wholeheartedly. And then you have the, the, the moose, which again is an animal with, with antlers. Uh, but the moose is also an animal that says to you, you need to pace yourself differently. So this is the week where basically you are acknowledged that you're vulnerable. Therefore, you reach out to people and say like, look, I need, a, I need some, some um, guidance here. Maybe you just need a hug, right, if that makes sense. Um, so reach out to your tribe. 
if that makes sense. And then as you do that, because then you all of a sudden stop and um, look at the carnage of life, so to speak, what the guys are saying to you is, in your case, it is all about because the pace isn't right, that you miss things, if that makes sense. And so as you then step back a little and say like, you know what, I need to recharge my batteries and I don't want to do it alone, so I'm going to reach out to my tribe, you will also therefore step back and actually be able to reflect on situations. So again, what I'm getting um, a lot in different star signs in, in many different ways is that this is quite um, a week where changes will work well and with the new moon coming in on the 7th the energy is actually high and remember the overall energy for this week was to forge your own path and sing a song that is uplifting right so how you deal with things energetically um, determines to a, a large extent how the next step will work energetically okie dokie that was Gemini. Two star signs left, Cancer and Leo. Next star sign here now is Cancer. We are looking at the week of September, the 6th to the 12th, 2021. <clears throat> Cancerians, you have the ancestor of exile and the ancestor of illusion. So, what the guides are saying to you is, you have gone through some upheaval where you didn't know how to feel about things, where to belong. And my feeling is that this has happened for you for quite some time. And this week is the week where your soul wants this to go. So you're going through some healing this week. And the, the advice is to not stop that and let that flow and let that happen. Therefore, you need a bit of me time, need a bit of space. And then you have the ancestor of illusion, which means what will piss you off <laughs> um, is the realization that despite all the things that you tried, not much really did work. And that leaves you with, with a couple of options. Um, one, you could look at yourself and, 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 and really assess how much of the things that didn't work was because of your choices and because of your actions or reactions, right? So pay a little bit of attention how you come across without judging yourself. But it is, is a good idea as you go through, uh, through healing and through letting go um, to also reflect how you um, come across and how you could probably make some changes um, to make situations easier. Right? So that's what we got. And then you have the ancestor of illusion, uh, like, I, like I just mentioned, um, which means you will realize that sometimes you were actually beating a dead horse and things didn't quite work. And my feeling is, because my guys are always in the now, that there might be cancerians out there who are not there yet. And you're probably in a situation that is not super uncomfortable but really isn't going anywhere. And this is a week to make changes happen. Okay? <coughs> that was Cancerians going to the very last star sign for the week ahead. And our last star sign is Leo. Leos have the cow and the fish. So a bit similar to um, Cancerians, even though it is obviously not the same, you have the cow which means you're the Übermother, even if you are a bloke. <laughs> what the guides are saying to you is, allow yourself to acknowledge your true emotions, allow yourself to truly feel everything the way you feel it, right? Don't hide from feelings, don't feel silly, uh, just because you feel a certain way, let it all happen. Really, really important. And then you have the fish. Um, in short, it means what you, while you are allowing yourself to feel all the things you need to feel, you need a bit of space, right? So this is not a good week for, um, for Leos to be the life of the party. Okie dokie. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, so, you know, 
you are notified when the next reading is up and um, please subscribe like I said um, and um, please like um, the video and please 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 share it widely thank you very much see you soon